Do you hear that? That's my leggings. Yeah, I'm all cute up here and then I'm like wearing leggings that you can't see, so. Ah. When you're doing your cat eye and your cat jumps up on you and knocks your hand. What's up? It's me, Britt, and today I'm here with a look that I literally did not plan at all. I was in my room messing around with makeup, doing different colors, all this and that, and I posted a picture on my Blossé Britt Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat, and of course, because I have to hit all three social medias, don't I? Um, and I think they're actually linked below if you want to follow me on any of those. But anyways, so I posted a picture on that, and or them, and so many people liked it and were like messaging me or you know like commenting and liking like everything and i was like what the heck like this is weird and i get comments and likes usually but it just seemed more apparent that like they were like your makeup's so on point and blah 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 and i love it and beautiful i was like oh okay like they're commenting on my makeup like maybe i should have made a video out of this like that would happen to me like don't make a video about the one look that everyone's like, I love. So yeah, it's basically just like a purple smoky cat eye with a matte brown lip. It's such a fall color and it really complements green eyes. So if you're watching, I have hazel green eyes and it literally looks and I will put the picture right here so you can see the original uh, picture I took the first time I did this look. I have hazel green eyes and it looks like I was literally wearing colored contacts because they look so green. Um, of course I'll look up with any eye color but I'm telling you if you have hazel green eyes or green eyes or anything with green in, green in them, like it's going to pop. It looks amazing. It's, it's crazy. But um, yeah, so today is really just going to be half a talk through. I'm going to talk you through the first part which is the eyes and then I'm totally gonna skip the face and then just come back to show you how to do the lips because that's basically the main stuff of this look. I did normal face makeup. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling <laughs> so you guys can actually watch it. But yeah, if you are interested to learn how I achieved this purple cat eye fall matte lip look, then just keep watching. Okay, so when I originally did this look, I actually started with my eyes, which I usually don't do, but since I did it like that the first time, I will do it like that now. So what I did at first is I used the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the original, and I just applied that all over my lids. If you don't have a primer, like an eyeshadow primer, you can use concealer too, it does not matter. But I do suggest using some type of base because it is, it, it's already hard enough to get a completely perfect blended look without primer, or with primer. So without it, it's just, it's so hard. Now that you're all zoomed in for the eye part, um, I started with my Naked palette for this and for my transition shade, I just used Naked. I just wanted to have like a nice light color just to have my crease get some depth first and I'm just taking it on a blending brush, like a big fluffy one, and applying it to the crease. To darken my crease, I get, then used Buck from the same palette. Excuse the dog barking in the background. I have a Yorkie poo also and He barks at literally anything. It doesn't ha even have to move for him to want to bark so but I'm guessing He's having a fight with my little baby Kaya, so That's great. Sorry guys so now that I have my crease the way I want it for the depth of that, I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl True Naked Eye Palette in Roses. 
I actually really like this palette. I'm going to be taking this mauve -y purple shade and I'm still using the same brush. And I'm putting it in my crease, but I'm kind of focusing it on my outer corner, if that would make sense. So I'm dragging it in, but focusing it here. I just take a little at a time. I think little is better when you're doing a dark eye because you don't want too much of one color and then be like, oh. So just some suggestions. My eyebrows are not the shape I want them to be right now and they're way too thin and I don't even think they're even right now and if I keep plucking them, I'm not gonna be able to get them shaped so I'm gonna have to let them grow out. So if you start seeing my like brows get a little word, sorry. Now I'm going in with my dark shade. The darkest one we'll be using today. Single little shadow. If that will zoom or focus. Did it focus? Okay, focused. And it's from Lexi and it's can Cooper shut up? Jeez. Okay, it's from Lexi and it's the number 290. With this shade is I got a very, very, very flat synthetic eyeshadow brush. I'll show you how thick or thin it is. It's like super thin. And I like it because I was able to pack it on with this brush. The thinner a brush is, the more um, product will go on like where you place it. The more dense a brush is, the more, not fallout, but less control you have of the products. So I'm just taking it on the brush, getting up the excess off. I will say that this one eyeshadow in particular does have a lot of fallout, so definitely get the excess off. Um, I'm just applying this literally to my whole lid. Not so much into the inner corner because I want to brighten it up a little bit, but to the whole lid. I put quite a few layers on because I really want that pigmentation of this purple. I don't want it to be like a brown. I want it to pop a little bit, so. All right, so, see it has a lot of fallout. That's the one thing I don't like about that shadow. Go back in with Buck from my Naked palette with my buffing brush and just kind of define my crease with the brown. Also blending as I'm doing that so I get rid of all the harsh lines that I created. I look like I have a black eye. Okay, that's not cute. I use my Pure Cosmetics Nude Collection and I use their shade Butterscotch. Um, we're doing all mattes, so I wanted to stay with that and it's a, just a matte cream and it has nice pigmentation, so I just took it on like a little baby brush and I'm not bringing it all the way in. I'm just kind of doing that. Did you hear that? Okay. I'm like trying to remember how I did it and it's super hard guys like I swear it is so hard when you're not paying attention and you're just doing makeup and I was like wait what products did I use like what order so I hope that it turns out the way it is supposed to blend with the same brush I've been using for blending Now I'm gonna do my brows, which you guys don't need to watch because it has nothing to do with this look. So I'll be right back. Okay, now that I did my eyebrows, I'm just taking a makeup um, cleansing cloth and I'm putting my nail through it and I'm wiping away all the bottom. Finally, don't look like I have a black eye. Make sure I get that inner corner. I'll wipe, I'm gonna hold and wipe where I want my eyeshadow to stop on my face. And it actually makes it a lot easier to do your cat eye that way. So that's another tip. I'm gonna do the same to this side. Now before moving on to my next step, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. And I'm using the Nivea Men's Poche Balm per usual. What's new? Nothing. Now that that's all taken care of. Now, time for the fun part, slash hard part, the cat eye. 
I will zoom you in. I am still not a pro at this, so like, don't judge me. I'm still working. Make a full line on top. Then once you have that full line, then I'm just gonna try to follow, follow I'm just gonna try to follow my bottom lash line. Now that I have the eyes done, I'm going to go ahead and put my face makeup on and I will be right back. All done okay so now to finish off the eye look now that the face makeup's done is I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to go ahead and dip it into that dark purple mauve color that we used all over our lids and I am going to drag it under my lash line I'm bringing it about three quarters of the way in almost to my inner corner but not quite there I'm just gonna do the same to this side. I'm kind of connecting it to my wing. If that makes sense. Okay, now I'm just gonna do my mascara really quick, which you also don't need to see, so we will fast forward through this part. Now we're moving on to lips. And you're gonna be kind of weirded out about the color choices I picked to make the color, but it ended up working and I just was playing around with makeup when I did this look. So I wasn't expecting anything from it and this came out. So um, first I'm gonna be taking the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Downtown Beauty. It's, or Beauté Cine Day. I don't know. Nick's always has two names, I think, for everything, but whatever. And it's just a normal lip pencil. It's like a deep brown. And I'm just gonna line my lips. That's not a good look. And I'm just filling in my lips. Now this is the color you're gonna be like, what, after picking that, but this is the Sephora, doesn't even say what kind of lipstick it is, it just says Sephora. So it looks like this, and it has the color at the bottom. Um, that's a clean side, it's like dirty from when I used it earlier with the brown. But um, this is the Sephora Rogue Cream lipstick in, R53. Yeah, it doesn't have like a name. So it's either R53 or 5217B. So either one of those. But yeah, and then I just put this on top. It just gives it like a nice softer brown and it also makes it kind of like a, a smooth matte. So it's not so drying to your lips also makes it kind of a moisturizing matte lip if that makes any sense yeah that's it guys I know it's I mean I want to say that's it's simp it's that simple but I know it seems a little difficult and if you're not comfortable with dark shadows or cat eye this is like a oh, cringe kind of look but I literally just did this by accident messing around with stuff so just practice when you're bored or just do it and if it doesn't work out wipe it and Try it another time, but it's always about practice. You're never gonna, or unless you're just great at everything and just pick things up right away, you're never gonna get anything right. You know, the first time it takes some practice. And for someone of afraid of cat eye, this is like the first time I've been able to get it like perfectly even under 15, 20 minutes. So don't worry about it. It's it's totally normal. As far as the lips, I'm also not a fan of dark lips, but for some reason, I'm loving brown and like dark red cool berries this, this fall, I almost said summer. So yeah, this was just, you know, such like a high, highly liked photo of mine on my Facebook and my Instagram. And I'll put a picture right here so you can see the picture I posted. 
and I think I recreated it pretty well. Um, I'll show you the eyes now. I'll zoom you in so you can kind of see the eyes a little better. It's a really, really pretty purple smoky eye for fall, and it's just, I love it. I can't wait to wear this out somewhere. I, let me zoom you out so I can say bye to you, full face. Um, yeah, so I hope that you like this look just as much as everyone else did before when I posted it. Should have just videotaped it the first time. But um, yeah, so if you do like it, just please give it a thumbs up because it means so much to you when you do. And if you haven't already, please, please, please just click that little red button down there that says subscribe. Because I would love for you to join my channel and I've been posting like at least once a day because I'm obsessed with this whole vlogging thing and it's just so fun. This community is awesome. So I would love for you to be on board with my channel. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, if you have any other looks that you would like me to do, any ideas, anything at all, you can comment down below or you can message me on my other social medias, which I already put it in the beginning of the photo or of the video, but I will put down below right now also so you guys know where you can reach me and I would love to hear your feedback. So thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye!